In the early 1920s, the United States was experiencing a period of economic growth and industrialization. It was a time of prosperity and progress, but also a time when corruption and greed lurked beneath the surface. One of the most notorious scandals to emerge during this era was the Teapot Dome scandal. This scandal involved the illegal leasing of federal oil reserves by the United States Department of the Interior to oil companies, leading to widespread public outrage and a major political scandal. Wow. The roots of the Teapot Dome scandal can be traced back to the presidency of Warren G. Harding. Harding was elected in 1920 on a platform of returning the country to normalcy after World War I. However, his presidency would be marred by corruption and scandal. In 1921, Harding appointed Albert B. Fall as the Secretary of the Interior, granting him control over the nation's natural resources, including the oil reserves at Teapot Dome, Wyoming, and Elk Hills, California. Albert B. Fall was a cunning and ambitious man who saw an opportunity to exploit his position for personal gain. He colluded with oil tycoons Edward L. Doheny and Harry F. Sinclair, offering them exclusive leases to the federal oil reserves in exchange for bribes and kickbacks. Fall's actions were a blatant violation of the law, as the oil reserves were meant to be held in trust for the American people. However, his devious plan went undetected for a while, allowing him to continue his illegal activities. The true extent of the scandal came to light in 1922, when a Senate investigation was launched into the shady dealings surrounding the oil leases. The investigation revealed a web of corruption that implicated some of the country's most powerful figures, including Secretary Fall himself. The public was outraged by the revelation that their government had been corrupted by greed and personal gain. The scandal gained its name from the Teapot Dome, a rock formation located in Wyoming that housed one of the oil reserves at the center of the illicit leasing. The name Teapot Dome Scandal would forever be associated with one of the biggest political scandals in American history. The public outcry and demand for justice led to a series of legal battles and the eventual prosecution of those involved. In 1929, Albert B. Fall became the first cabinet member in U.S. history to be convicted of a felony while in office. He was found guilty of accepting bribes and kickbacks and was sentenced to a year in prison and fined $100,000. Fall's conviction marked a turning point in American politics as it exposed the depth of corruption within the government and shattered the public's trust in their elected officials. The Teapot Dome scandal had far-reaching implications beyond the convictions of those involved. It prompted a shift in public opinion and a demand for government reform. In its aftermath, Congress passed laws to increase transparency and accountability in government operations, such as the 1924 Public Lands Act and the 1933 National Industrial Recovery Act. These reforms aimed to prevent future scandals and restore the public's faith in their government. The Teapot Dome scandal serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked power and corruption. It exposed the vulnerability of the American political system and the need for constant vigilance to protect against abuses of power. Although it may be a dark chapter in American history, the scandal helped pave the way for greater accountability and transparency in government.